podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. Putting paint straight to canvas is a signature move for one North Carolina artist who is known worldwide for his vivid colors and depictions of life, love, and nature. This Pender County native who could outdraw his teachers grew up into a fine artist who overcomes a great deal physically to create his art. Heather Burgess introduces us to Ivy Hayes and his amazing world of colors. Within me, there's a student and a master teacher. The master teacher is God's spirit. And when he shows up, I'm, I become the paint pusher. It's a joy to be the paint pusher. With every stroke and push of the paint, the joy of renowned artist Ivy Hayes explodes on canvas with brilliant color amid a journey of mesmerizing shapes and silhouettes. The paints themselves has a way of knowing what they want. In other words, I'm like a person sitting on a sideline. I'm, I'm just there to go along with the ride. This Eastern North Carolina native grew up in Pender County. His life as a young boy on the farm and growing up near coastal waters is evident in many of his nearly 4,000 paintings. The painting has a way of communicating with me because I, I see designs, I can see colors. The beauty of his work is realized through adversity. Since 1986, Hayes has suffered from rheumatoid arthritis, which left his hands gnarled and his body weak. On a doctor's recommendation, Hayes quit his job at Federal Paper in Wilmington and used his love and talent for painting as therapy. Little did I know that one of the best things ever could happen to me. What started out as therapy turned into new life as a revered artist. He started painting realistic watercolors and then turned to the bold expressions of color and flowing fancy we see today. Do I enjoy watercolors? But what I'm doing today, I find it to be more fascinating, more interesting, more enjoyable than watercolor ever could be. Much of his work features women from years gone by in unique perspective on the farm, in the groove, or by the sea. I'm known for, like, as far as an image, small heads and flared out bottom. I love to paint the female figure with large derrieres. Believe me, because I think it's interesting. She would be like in silhouette form. She would have a, a long flowing gown, full of light, full of geometric patterns, moving, sweeping, for circles, triangles, rectangles, squares, you name it. Ivy Hayes believes when he begins a painting, the vision and inspiration for what the piece will be is given to him by colors, shapes, and form. Then I begin to see cloth, Beautiful designs, then sculpture. Also, I tell you something else too, I become what I paint. If I'm painting a bird, I become a, I become a bird. Say I'm painting a dancer, a golfer. Now I never play golf, but when I'm painting a golfer, I become, we become one in the same when I'm painting. Ivy Hayes says his paintings evoke emotion from those who peer into the faces, perhaps putting themselves into the art. There's one question I've been asked many times. Uh, they would say, Mr. Hayes, uh, why are your faces blank? I mean, they're just silhouette. What I've done is made this image a universal figure, meaning you can put your own face there. Just last fall, this artist encountered yet another physical hurdle when a blood clot halted his ability to use his right arm. I'm right-handed, and so the paintings that you see were done with my right hand. God is so good and so gracious, what he did is very interesting. He transferred the ability from my right hand to my left hand. With his faith and perseverance, Hayes began to paint with his left hand. His brother and business partner, Philip, encouraged him to try and saw the results. That's real good. <laughs> I say, you can't hardly tell the difference between the left hand to the right. That's what amazes me. Well, I just had to cap the bag because 
Very few people know that I paint with my left hand now because, see, this is the beginning. And this painting here started last month. And while he is back to painting, now a new passion for making music is proving that Ivy Hayes isn't finished yet. His plans are to put out a CD in the fall, playing piano with only three fingers. I find myself um, consumed with the idea of leaving a legacy because that's something that I want to do. Uh, it's my time now, so I'm responsible. I want my life to count. I want to give my best to my neighbor. And with the Lord's help, I intend to, with his help, do just that. For more information on the art of Ivy Hayes, log on to our website at unctv.org slash ncnow. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.